goddamn, I was wrong in my previous video. Anyways, welcome back to Vigor. I'm wearing a suit, and you wanna know what the deal is. I'm gonna be streaming in one hour. Since it is the 10th of September, it's a Saturday. So, I'm gonna be streaming in one hour. And that means at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on twitch.tv forward slash jetkiller ADW. There's going to be a YouTube channel, this one right here. Subscribe to this YouTube channel because right there, I'll be uploading the stream once it is done. So if you're in a different time zone and you miss a stream, it's okay. I upload all my streams there, past, present, and future. Now, I am wearing a suit. Yeah, but don't worry, the black outfit's going to come back. Don't worry, but in this uh, not really ignited jet phase I'm going through, I'm just tired of dying, okay? Also, I believe there's a mission going on where I got to kill a certain number of Outlanders with pistols. So, Revolver Jet is back in the mix. You know what I'm saying? So, we're here on my favorite map in the game, Grantown Valley. It is pretty, it is beautiful, it is bright. And there's also plenty of nature. Hostile nature, if you want to be frank. And the one exit that will catch any random raincoat, raincoat at least one time in the game. At least one time. So I decided to make my way across this bridge right here. You know, go ahead and cross the map early and get it over with. It is pretty dangerous, but I mean, hey, I'm already halfway through the bridge. And I'm not getting shot at, so this is cool. Oh shit. Turns out, I was being watched the entire time. So, why shoot me when I'm at the end of the bridge, instead of in the middle of the bridge, where I only had one way to go? Or one or two ways, really. Front or back. But anyways, we, are, we now know there's a sweat back there in the party. And I say sweat, because... You, you don't shoot from that far away. And I'm pretty sure homeboy spawned on the other, like this side, this side of the river. He intentionally crossed over to try to get to my spawn point. And then when he saw me crossing the bridge, he was like, shit. One on the rock, went prone, tried to kill me. That's sweaty. That's sweaty indeed. And now I'm over here. And this is wonderful, because of our radiation grenade. And we all know how powerful this thing can be. So. Sounds like some shit going on already. A bugle, and what sounds like a Thompson. What sounds like. So I'm going to run over here, and see what I can do. And, like, you see where my camera's pointing? I got the general area of where the shots are coming from. I got the general area. Now, all I need to do is wait and see what happens. But first, I'm going to mark where the airdrop's going to land at. Right there, pretty much. Oh, shit. Things getting pretty serious, ain't they? I can't see the mortar strike, though. So where is it at?
I cannot help but feel sorry for this guy. I cannot help but feel sorry for him. Homeboy escaped a mortar strike. Escaped the bugle. Escaped two shots from a magnum. To only be chased about 10% through the map. And now he's dead at the Bard house. And if you're wondering, no, I'm not going to look at Bard house. I'm not going to. Because we got sweat number one with an H bar T back there somewhere. And we got somebody else caught in between a bugle and the same H bar T and shit's going down over there. And now look, what's going to happen when they get finished killing each other? They're going to find me next. So normally, if I was on my stealth shit, I would try to loot the Bard house and then come over here and see what happens. But I got more pressing matters at hand. Number one. I got a radiation grenade on me that needs to get the hell off of me. And I, did, and I did not do all this setup to not execute the plan. Watch the star at the top of your screen. And okay, cool. It's going to land right here. Wonderful. Yeet.
Boy, oh boy, where the fuck do I begin? Where the fuck do I begin? This is why I don't use jammers. Actually, let me, let me go before, before that. The first guy who shot at me in this encounter was the last guy that I killed. The last guy that I killed. Wait a minute, I may have, you know, debunked or started explaining shit a bit too early. Because what you're about to see is this. I fucked up. I fucked up. Am I going to recover? Do I have time to recover? Well, yes. But I got one more shot. Alright, fuck it. Um, I survived. Anyways. So. We heard three different shots. At the second part of the video. Three different kinds of gunfire. HRT, Bugle. And some other guy that probably died. I pulled a V-Dub 1985, a poor man's PSD, run out in the open and see where the traces come from. I'm thinking old, old boy is in the trees. No, he is on the bridge. Of course he is. Where else would he be at? Force him off the bridge, shoot him in the head. I'm thinking, okay, bet, I can leave. Walk to the freaking ladder, a jammer goes off. And this is why I don't use jammers. Jammers let your enemy know that you are there. When I heard that sound go off, y'all see me look left and right. I was in the area. He was going to be around. Then he moved. And that right there is why I don't use jammers. He was in the area. All I had to do was look. That's why I don't use jammers. Now, the final thing I'm going to say about that encounter is this. He was dead. Even before I shot him, he was dead. He was in the center of the map, and my health was at half. He was not going to survive. He was not going to run toward an exit. The only exit he had going for him was one that was behind me. If anything, he should have stayed up there. He should have stayed up there, because then, cause then I would be on the back foot. But he ran toward the bridge, which is the legit dead center of the map. He was not going to survive. He wasn't. He was dead. And this, people, is why, number one, this was a premiere. And number two, 
I call this the Until the End series. Remember, people, stay vigilant and peace. <laughs>